Shut up and sit down. Hello guys, this is Andy from Big Mac's Workshop and Painting Studio and it is time for another White Dwarf uh, first look. So we're going to start off with the freebies. You get a couple of nice freebies here. Uh, the first one being an Age of Sigma poster uh, centred on the new box set which is Undead vs Stormcast Eternals. Uh, very nice looking um, battle um, picture there. And on the inside you've got a map of Immortal Realms. Um, which actually has some proper lands on it, which is uh, all very cool. So that's the first one. And the second one is for the other big topic of the month, Imperial Knights. This is the cover art for the new Imperial Knight Codex. Nice big green Imperial Knight. And on the inside of that, we've got loads of little um, sort of artwork uh, painting technique, painting styles of all the other Imperial Knights available to you as well. So that's very, very nice artwork there. Thank you, G-Dubs. We like freebies. And now on to the White Dwarf itself. So, it starts off getting straight into the artwork itself, into the battle scenes of Age of Sigma. We've got a nice big um, double-page spread of uh, Age of Sigma. Um, figures uh, going over a couple of a couple of sheets as well. So some Kador overlords in the bottom corner here, looking particularly cool with their flying machines. And obviously you've got the uh, more recent things like the uh, Marathi dark elves um, and some undead guys. And it's just talking about the entirety of the. Uh, of what's coming up. So there's an image of the new box set for Age of Sigma. Uh, in it you've got uh, the, what you'd expect which is all the rule books and dice etc. Them dice are very very nice though. Um, similar to the 40k red ones there but they're a nice blue. Um, really really nice looking dice. Uh, you've got 52 figures, a uh, combination of uh, Stormcast Eternals and the new Undead guys. There's a close-up a close -up picture of the Undead. So you've got the um, big guy here, uh, some kind of executioner. Uh, the Lord Executioner took too much pleasure in his grim duty and has been cursed to act as uh, service in the head, as headman in the service in the gash for all of eternity. Uh, that's got to suck. And these little guys here look like Undead Skaven. Um, I don't really know anything about them, but it's about time some of the non-humans got a, a chance at being undead as well. So that's pretty cool. So I'm all good for having variant race undead. And you've got the Stormcast Eternals, a completely different batch of um, models, as you'd expect from the uh, original box set. Uh, you've got uh, some crossbows, a uh, repeated bolt thrower. Um, another guy in a demigriff looks like some kind of wizard. Uh, which is really interesting. Uh, that's my phone, but I'm going to ignore it. And moving on, and you've got the uh, bit of a description about the um, General's Handbook and the Core Book as well. Now, the General's Handbook's getting some updated um, bat battalions for the older um, armies, such as Fire Slayers, etc. Uh, as obviously the newer fire, uh, newer army books have been a bit more in depth and a bit more uh, variety for them. So it's good to see uh, Age of Sigmar getting constant updates. So this has uh, got been um, um, modified with all the uh, FAQs uh, in mind. So that will be about as up to date as you can possibly get. Uh, the Malign Sorcery book, uh, a box set, comes with all the really interesting spells um, and their tokens like the great big ball of teeth and uh, the death's head uh, which the old uh, players from uh, a long long time ago uh, will recognize as the purple son of Xerxes although now it's been renamed the purple son of Sheesh which sounds like a kebab <laughs> uh, obviously you've got some other uh, objective tokens and things, some new paints as well, which are the new um, 
undead style ghost paints so I'm gonna to have to have a look at them because they are really interesting colors one's a sort of a blue color the other ones a sort of a green really interesting uh, nice to see that they're continually improving on their um, painting, st uh, painting range some new dice as well wound trackers um, scenery effects and command status effects uh, which are very interesting um, obviously geared towards Age of Sigma um, possibly incorporate um, it could possibly incorporate into 40k as well though and um, some more uh, stuff about the new kits that are available as well which are the easy to build ones um, which are generally two or three parts um, snap fits nice can't go wrong with that the fact that the snap fits and still uh, so well detailed is just uh, amazing it's good to see and on 40k we have got the imperial knights codex which i'm sure a lot of you are all already eagerly awaiting uh, myself i'm not i don't want to be seeing too many knights across the table as i've got nothing what can kill them um but that's because i suck at 40k even though i love it so obviously got the imperial knight book at uh, 25 pound um got some new dice as well 20 sets of a uh, set of 20 dice with uh, skulls for failures and sixes are represented by a knight's helm which is really really cool and they're in silver and black uh, data cards data sheets uh, the dice are £12.50 for a set of 20 if anybody's interested and you've got the big guy £100 kit um, makes two variants Obviously, this is the Castellan, which has got the Volcano Lance and some kind of Mega Plasma Cannon um, and a variety of other weapons. And its counterpart, the Knight Valiant, which has got a dirty great big harpoon, which, let's face it, what's not to love about that? Um, yeah, so that comes in at £100, which isn't cheap. Um, but it's an Imperial Knight, so you get what you pay for, I suppose. Uh, alternate variants for the little mini knights. The Helverians have got the uh, twin auto cannons, and the Warglaves have got the same loadout as what you'd expect. Uh, from what I've heard, they have taken a massive points drop, so are actually useful now. Uh, still more on the uh, Adeptus Mechanicus side of things, we've got a new piece of terrain, which is the Sacristan Forge Shrine. I really like this. Um, really interesting bit of kit. Uh, computer terminals and things on it very very interesting not quite sure what you could use it for what it would do or what you could use it for but in, in any case it still looks pretty groovy I suppose it worked really well with the uh, terrain what comes in the neck box set which is Renegade which has uh, been eagerly awaited for by a lot of people uh, I really could do with buying one myself um, but hey, I've got to ask the missus haven't I uh, but that's uh, £120 for two nights, which, if you're getting one between the pair, uh, you and a friend, is a huge saving. So, more on uh, 40k, we've got Heresy Era stuff now, which is the Alpha Legion Terminators. Their armour is absolutely awesome. Um, the continuation of the scale theme on across the armour plating looks really, really nice. There's loads of detail work there. Uh, the fact that we can have a conversion beamer in a squad as well is pretty mental. Uh, so that'll be interesting to see how they work. So, further on, we've got licensed games. A bit more uh, stuff about uh, Mechanicus, which is currently still an alpha. Um, and I'm guessing you're some kind of, it's some kind of tactical battle game thing uh, where you're uh, some kind of Skitari or Tech Priest. Um, which is an interesting idea. Uh, random merchandise being um, glasses for drinks, uh, which is a little bit random. Um, completely out of left field there. For, um, but hey, if, you, if that's the sort of thing you want, then well, uh, more power to you. Uh, combat cards. Um, I've taken a uh, release recently and are now available on um, computer as well. Uh, it's free to play, um, set for release on Android and iOS this year, and it's basically the same game as the combat cards, what you used to know and love, just in digital format, which is kind of groovy. Which one are you talking about? 
Uh, the combat cards one, not the. Oh, um, not Horus Heresy Legions. Not, not Legions now. Uh, Black Library is still busy, uh, as always, uh, pumping out more and more novels for us to uh, get our teeth into. Uh, we have got Soul Wars, which is Age of Sigmar, focused uh, on the. Um, but based around a back set, uh, the backstory for the box set, I'm guessing. And the Shady Gits themselves, uh, the Dark Angels. Um, and how they react to getting primary Space Marines. Now that's going to be an interesting one. Uh, I'd love to be a fly on the wall with that conversation. Now, uh, letters from the fans. Uh, particular, uh, the letter of the uh, month is a question about urban camouflage. And it looks like uh, they've got a very, very simple but effective um, two-tone um, camo pattern. And definitely want to have a good read of that. And I might even try and do something about uh, for myself at some point. Or even for you guys. Let's see. Let us know what you want. So we've got a battle report here. It's Undead versus Stormcast Eternal. Um, obviously, we've got a nice bit of a story back to, uh, story behind it, and this is approximately two thousand points. I don't know how many um, uh, power level that is. Um, I'm guessing it's going to be somewhere in the region of a hundred, if it's anything like forty uh, k. Uh, I'm sure you guys will be able to uh, correct me on that one now. So we'll skip through the uh, battle report. I don't want to spoil it for you, so you can read it. I've not read it myself, so I don't know who wins. So we'll skip past that. Strip back onto adverts. A nice, good photo of the um, bony teeth of doom thing. Not quite sure what you call it. It looks mad. So therefore, it wins for me. So uh, part two of the winners' challenges from last year's Golden Demon event. Uh, which is uh, again some lovely stuff on here. Uh, got Alarial um, making some vines or something eat a corn warrior, which is not going to be a nice way to go. Uh, really nice use of the uh, Age of Sigmar kit um, on that particular base. Uh, the Age of Sigmar models across the range so far have been really really nice the undead one's been a particularly nice um, batch of them so we've got a, an orc on a boar I mean a big smelly orc on a bigger smelly pig what's not to like about that eh? and then you've got a, some kind of Age of Sigmar uh, theme uh, Lord Celestine with a warden lantern apparently uh, it's not, I don't know much about them, so uh, it's all very interesting. Although it's nice the way that the uh, lantern seems to be having some kind of melting effect on the blood, for, blood letters. And, um, yeah, these are stunning. Uh, a Chaos Varanger, um with a uh, uh, Stormcast Eternal, looks like he's melting in a pot of green goo. Yeah, that's gonna suck. Um, and that was made painted by Robin McLeod, uh, who was the silver um, winner for single figure in 2017. So as you can imagine, that's a cracking paint job. And... Uh, and this is by Thomas Peckar, uh, the uh, tree man um, kind of thing, uh, with a another fallen chaos uh, cornate warrior um, getting eaten by trees. So yeah, uh, some unpleasant ways to go there. So, designers notes about the Imperial Knights. Uh, I'm just going to gloss over that because um, I've not had a chance to read it. Um, but obviously we're going to be talking about the big, the uh, Dominus and the Armagers as they're the new ones that are just out. Now, 
that's the first time I've seen the uh, back of uh, the Dominus class. And uh, a lot of detail on the back as well. Uh, I was quite surprised. Really, really looks good though. A lot of work has, uh, thought has gone into this. Not just pick, picking up an Imperial Knight and strapping guns to it. Another double page spread of uh, more uh, knights and we're talking about the narrative behind them. Which is going to be interesting for me to read as I love the backstory behind the thing. And obviously a nice big double page um, photo of it as well. So, got a, a short story in here. Uh, by Black Library. I'm not sure if it's a full short story or yeah, that's definitely a full short story that. Um, and it was oh, and this is a, a, an excerpt from the novel short, uh, Soul Wars, so you can have a nice good read, see what you're getting into if you wanted to buy, uh, look into that, um, that particular book. And it's a nice thought, although it would be nice to actually have a full short story. Uh, come on, Games Workshop, we want the short stories back. Uh, more adverts and John Blanche as always uh, with his particularly weird take on chaos which says something really because it's chaos alright oh, ok we've got a Goliath ganger hanging out of the roof of a converted battle wagon because why not and somebody driving a mechanical fist ok I've seen everything now. Illuminations is... Uh, we're talking about the um, illustrations in artwork this time around rather than uh, anything else. So some of the old illustrations, what you'll know from way back, like the uh, Chaos Space Marine Sun Ash, etc. Some really cool, iconic artwork here, what have, what's been knocking about for years. If you've been in a hobby as long as I have, you'll recognise a lot of our stuff. Some more adverts. Yeah, we'll get past them. And another battle rep. This is Imperial Guard and Orc, so it's going to be quite an iconic one. Uh, I'm sure Dodge will want to have a read of that. Uh, I definitely do. Um, we'll skip past that, though, because we don't want to see what's going off in it. Uh, but we will have a look at the armies quickly. So, uh, using the Ventrillion Nobles, which are mentioned in the uh, Imperial God Codex, if I remember rightly, uh, which are a nice conversion work between Imperial Guard and um, Empire handgunners and such. A nice looking army, actually. Very, very, uh, very characterful. Not too many tanks. So it'll be a lot of fun to see, uh, a lot of fun to play against, at the very least. And Orcs. Well, orcs, isn't it? Look at them all. So you got some uh, flash gates. Uh, looks like Badrock as well. A converted um, Nemesis Dread Knight into something with an orc in it. Here Dodge comes to have a nosy because he's got. Obviously, it's going to be talking about orcs. So some very cool looking stuff yeah. and a shock attack gun, which is awesome. I love them things. I remember when they used to do really crazy stuff rather than just be a bit weird. So yeah, well, They always broke on you or did something you really didn't want to do. Not in second edition. Uh, <laughs> so we've got a massive bit of information about um, Armageddon, everything you would like to know about the Armageddon campaign, um, the setting itself. You've got First War of Armageddon, which is against uh, Angron and uh, his merry band. And the Second War, which is Yarrick and Gaskell. The Third War, which is um, Gaskell again. Um, forces of Disposition in the Third War of Armageddon. So you're talking about uh, how many sort of uh, men... Uh, actually turned up um, which uh, one can only guess at being numbers more than I can count to and obviously a prelude into the next war of Armageddon uh, which is 
from what I've heard, a three-way battle this time between Orcs, Chaos, and the Imperium. Yes. So that is gonna be interesting. And a tale of four warlords, which is uh, been ongoing for the last few months. Um, so we have some daughters of Cain, which are purple. Cool, like it. Um, some three great and clean ones, cause who needs one? And the Legions of the Gash has got a new Mortark, uh, though I'm not sure which one. Some more adverts. A uh, bit of a temporal disp distort, taking me back to when I was a kid. Uh, 1998, and it is the uh, Rorks Drift um, themed uh, army, which were Praetorians as we now know them, and uh, versus an Orc army, uh, and the uh, Bombers over the Sulphur River, which was a mini game which they uh, made for uh, Games Day 98, if I remember correctly, and it was actually a lot of fun. So, Jay Clare has been uh, busy, busy, busy. He's been making some new stuff um, for uh, the new uh, Wizard uh, Middle Earth stuff. So he's given us some uh, new rules uh, for those Hobbit players. I'm sure uh, when the, when the new Hobbit game uh, comes out, though, it's going to um, really uh, surprise you. And the Lords of War redo, redo, uh, Redux. So, it is. Uh, ah, so it's rules for playing a Gorkonaut in Renegade. Cool. Uh, the new big guys. So yeah, got some new uh, some new rules there. Okay, readers models. And we've got some very cool uh, Hellblasters. Uh, some thousands, some Rubik Marines in there, which are really, really worth looking at. Um, these uh, bottom two characters here are superb. Um, so Anthony Morgan, if you're watching, this, uh, your apothecary and your chaplain, a lovely mate, well done. Uh, some more, uh, uh, some Death Guard Plague Marines, some more uh, Imperial Fists, obviously a very nice uh, Ghost Kill, and a well put together Sicarian as well. They're not an easy kit to get to uh, fit properly. Obviously, uh, I'm just going to glance through all these. Uh, for everybody who's got, um, got their... Uh, uh, figures in white dwarf as always congratulations um it's always a good it's always a good achievement and nice to see uh, other people stuff in there and back to the um at the back we've got some um just a bit of a uh, chatting from uh, the developers etc and the white dwarf team themselves and they're talking about what they are busy doing at the minute and there you have it it is a very big white dwarf, this one, quite thick, uh, 148 pages this time around, plus two po um, posters and uh, uh, rules for a new game as well, or the inclusion of other stuff for uh, a game, what is coming out, or you may already have. Uh, so, uh, happy to see you uh, watching this, thank you for watching, uh, if you want to see more of what we do, if you want to see tutorials, battle reports, or whatever, hit like, hit subscribe, drop a message in the... Um, a comment section down below if there's anything you want to see or want to talk about and we'll see what we can do so uh, see you in the next one guys ta-ta